Welcome everybody in my kitchen. Today we're gonna make some Hungarian sausages with some cabbage and potatoes. Normally you would make sausage in casing. Today we're just gonna make it without casing. So I'm gonna use a pound of ground pork. I'm gonna use about four cloves of garlic, but you can put more if you like. Um, I think a lot of garlic is good for this dish. And I press the garlic. Next, about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper you can again put more if you like and two teaspoons of paprika and a teaspoon of salt And now we're going to mix all this together. You do this for a while because you want to distribute the spices and the garlic evenly. And I did it probably for about two minutes before I felt that there are no more spice clumps in the meat. Now I'm gonna divide this, this is a pound of pork. I'm gonna divide this into eight balls. Approximately the same size. It's not gonna be the same size as you can tell already. Okay, and the next thing you want to do is heat a pan to fry in. I got my pan heating on high initially. I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of uh, bacon grease. You can use lard, tallow, oil, whatever you fry in usually. While that's melting, I'm going to start shaping my sausages. And I'm going to make them small only because that way it's going to be easier for me to turn them and it will uh, fry faster. So first just make a ball and then shape it into a sausage of your liking. I have more than just eight because I want to make them real small. I want them to cook fast. But try to make them the same size. Sort of like when you're making uh, shish kebab. And I'm going to turn now my pan down to medium and start loading it again i'm gonna try to make them the same size see how it starts sizzling
That's a little too big, but it's okay. I guess it turned out to be eight. I was projected. While the sausages are cooking on the first side, I'm going to start on my cabbage dish. For the cabbage, I'm going to use this pot. Again, about a tablespoon of bacon grease. And I have some frozen cabbages that were already chopped up. From those in, I have about three cups of cabbages, frozen cabbages, maybe four. It's gonna cook it down, so use more than you think you're gonna need. In the cabbage, I'm gonna put in about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of sugar, and two teaspoons of vinegar of any kind you like. And we can adjust this later, but for now, I just want to start. Well, my cabbage is starting to cook. I'm going to pay attention to my sausages. I'm going to turn them just to pull them away if I can because they do get flat. And I'm going to show them to my wife. This down a little bit, the heat because it's is a little bit too fast. And I can just kind of prop them up against each other or next to the, um, the side of the pan. Okay, cook a left side for about two minutes. For the cabbage, I'm going to mix, mix it up well. And I'm going to put a lid on this. Because I'm starting with a frozen cabbage, I don't need to add any water, but if you're starting with fresh cabbage, you want to put about a quarter of a cup of water uh, so it will steam initially. I can turn the, the sausage again. Again, to the right, so they're not upside down. So I'm going to close the this one. the next side. The cabbage has already reduced about half size and it does have enough liquid so I can um, steam. I'm going to go ahead and turn the sausages one more time.
We have 18 minutes. So it's all over again in five to eight minutes. And again, the timing depends on the size of your sausages. Sausages are done. I'm going to pick them out on a plate with paper towel and let them rest until the cabbage gets cooked. Go turn down the cabbage to low. Uh, let it steam for about 15 minutes. This has been steaming for 15 minutes. I'm going to take the lid off because now I want to saute it. this point I'm putting in half a teaspoon of cumin this is totally optional Also, as optional, I'm putting in some leftover potatoes from the other night's dinner. You don't have to if you don't have it. it I just make it more bulky and more um, filling to make it a complete meal. And I'm gonna try to just fry the potato in small pieces. So I'm gonna break them up. Probably put a little bit more salt. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit so it can start sauteing a little more. I'm gonna give it a taste, taste the um, cabbage to see how far it is from being cooked. Actually, I'm gonna put a little more vinegar. I would say another. I kind of misjudged that, so initially I said two teaspoons. I think you can put easily two tablespoons for this amount. I would saute this for another five minutes at least. It's time to dish up. The cabbage is nicely sauteed. I was stirring it every one minute or so for five minutes and smash the potatoes as much as possible because I like them again to be in small pieces. Looks tasty. Enjoy.